familiar with this show knows that Senator Rafael Ted Cruz of Texas is often featured in this very space. When it comes to being the absolute worst, he is a repeat offender. That was bad enough that Cancun Cruz toted his Tumi bag to Mexico for a vacation at the Ritz-Carlton while millions in his home state of Texas were freezing without power. But now he's earned a new nickname, which my colleague Brian Williams coined last night, Kremlin Cruz, because now Texas's most embarrassing senator is denigrating the U.S. armed forces while applauding Russia's military. Yes, you heard that correctly. Cruz actually shared a Russian propaganda recruitment video on his Twitter account yesterday, using it to malign a recent commercial for the U.S. Army. His comment says, perhaps a woke, emasculated military is not the best idea. Tip your waiters, unless you're Ted Cruz, who probably doesn't even tip his waiters. Well, here are some of the clips that Cruz shared, first from the Russian propaganda video, then from the U.S. Army ad. What do you know about yourself? What are you able to do? The questions can be left without answers, but you can know yourself. But on the other hand, the main enemy is the task of finding the enemy, to get him, 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 to get him. It begins in California with a little girl raised by two moms. I also marched for equality. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age to marry my other mom. With such powerful role models, I finished high school at the top of my class. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength. I'm U.S. Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord, and I answered my call. Now, while the Russian video is straight up propaganda, the U.S. Army ad tells the real-life story of an American air defense officer, Corporal Emma Malone Lord, who's stationed in South Korea. She represents the reality of our increasingly diverse all-volunteer armed forces. And let's just keep it real. She could probably dropkick Ted Cruz back to Cancun without breaking a sweat. I mean, hell, probably I could. But Russia's little helper, who's never served in uniform and doesn't even properly serve his Texas constituents, went on to defend his stupid tweet by whining that, quote, Democratic politicians and woke media are trying to turn our military into, quote, pansies. Pansies? Who even says that in the 21st century? And now, Cruz's homophobic attacks have predictably backfired. His attacks prompted army leaders to rally behind Corporate Malone Lord, Corporal Malone Lloyd today with the commander of U.S. Armed Forces in Korea describing her as a superstar by any measure. But let's come back to Cruz's tweet for a second, because of all things, he accuses the U.S. Armed Forces of being, quote, emasculated. Emasculated. Probably not the wisest go-to for the man who Trump named Lion Ted and who kept kissing Trump's orange posterior even after Trump subjected him and his family to ritual humiliation. I mean, it must have been pretty emasculating for Cruz to embrace the guy who basically called his wife ugly compared to Melania. And it must have been pretty emasculating for Cruz to caddy for someone who accused his father of taking part in the Kennedy assassination. For most men, those indignities would be too much to bear. But not for Ted Cruz. He took it sitting down. After all of that, Cruz phone banked Republicans in Texas to get out the vote for his apparent real daddy. So he should know a thing or two about being emasculated. Oh, and did I mention that he blamed his own daughters when he was caught escaping to Cancun? That is why Ted Cruz is, once again, the absolute worst. And you know what, Ted? If you like the Russian military so much, maybe you should make your next Tumi bag trip to Mother Russia and try to join up. All right. They won't take you because you're far too emasculated. What, is, what does her ascension mean to you? Ask a simple question. Everything. She is the first woman of color vice president. Ask everyone you know what matters to them and why. Let's be clear. This isn't about fraud. Work the angles. Say Question authority. What specifically are you going Walk to do? Walk me through your process. Ask the why. Why weren't the... Why? Why is this happening? The hows. How does... How, how did you get your politics? Please, back. The wait a minute. Okay. Outside. Keep going back. Keep going back. Care about what you find. If not now, when? And if not us, the free press, then who? And if what you discover doesn't match your expectations... Can you fact check this for us? Keep asking yourself hard questions. Are you confident in that? Be tough on the answers. It was deliberate deceit. Favor facts over conspiracies. What should American citizens know? Rely on experts, not influencers. Scientists have moved at a record pace. And trust standards over hearsay. 